You know, it's times like these when I think to myself, I review movies online. So What Men Want stars Taraji P. Henson, who is a woman who is boxed out by the male sports agent in her profession, but gains an unexpected edge over them when she develops the ability to hear men's inner thoughts. First question coming out of this movie, what happened to Taraji P. Henson? Because I really like Taraji P. Henson. I think she's a really good actress. I think she's really likable, really funny, and she's just a really nice presence to have on screen. In this movie, she is so unlikable. And I think the fact that this movie manages to paint her in such an unlikable light is the only thing you need to know about this movie going into it, is that the fact that this film can do so much damage to one actress in the space of two hours, it's baffling to me. While I think that Taraji P. Henson does a good enough job with the material she's given to work with, the material that she's given to work with is absolutely horrendous, and like I say, completely makes her so unlikable, which I didn't even know was possible, like even her level of charisma, which is so high, cannot pull through this script. This film, for a comedy, is excruciatingly unfunny, and I literally mean that. I did not laugh once in this film. I cringed on multiple occasions, and it was one of those times where I was watching this movie just thinking, please, please end, because I cannot deal with this script any longer. Just the writing overall for this movie is terrible. There are so many scenes that just go on way too long. There are so many scenes that just are so weird in their conception that I'm trying to think what the writers were thinking of in the writer's room when they came up with this idea. Like, there are a couple of moments in this film that just come out of nowhere. And again, it's not funny. It's just awkward. And the movie's far too long. I was told going into this movie it was 90 minutes. And then I came out, I was thinking to myself, that movie was not 90 minutes. And it was two hours. And it felt like two and a half hours. This movie should not have been as long as it was. This movie is ridiculously too long. And it just should not have even come close to this runtime. It's ridiculous. The only saving grace of this movie is Josh Brenner, who is the only character in this film who I kind of liked. He was the only one who I was like, yeah, he's all right. But other than him, I didn't think this movie was good at all. I thought this movie was absolutely terrible. It was dreadful. I just, I honestly, I, I very rarely get on camera and rant like this, but this was just it baffles me that this movie was able to get this far. And unlike my last review, which you, you may have saw, which was for the movie Cold Pursuit, at least that movie was really funny because of how bad it was. This movie's not even that. This movie's just ridiculous. And it's just, it's something that is so bad, it's just terrible. And I couldn't wait for it to end. And I'm just so, I, I never even want to think about this movie again. So have you guys seen it? If you have, make sure you let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. If you haven't seen it, don't go see it. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.